A2 Flyers 3 Published by Cambridge University Press and Uckles, 2019 This recording is copyright. CD1 Test 1 Hello, this is the Cambridge Assessment English Flyers Listening Test. One. Listen and look. There is one example. Look at this picture of the new shopping centre in my town. It looks nice. But they haven't finished it yet, I think. There's a man who's going to do some work. The man who's wearing a baseball cap? Yes. That's Richard. He's a painter and he lives on our street. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. Can you see the woman who's holding the envelopes? That's my Aunt Sarah. Does she work there? Yes, she does. Her office is on the fifth floor. Ah, so she's going to take the elevator to her office. That's right. There are too many stairs. Do you know that man in the uniform? The man who's cooking something? No, not him. The other one. Oh, okay. You mean the firefighter. Yes. He's waving to someone. His name's Oliver. He's a friend of my dad's. Look at that woman's scarf. It's very bright. That's Emma, my friend's mom. She always wears clothes like that. Does she? I think she's just bought a newspaper. Perhaps. She goes to the shopping center every day to buy something or have a coffee. Okay. So she doesn't work there? No, she doesn't. Another one of my dad's friends is there, too. Is he the man who's wearing the shirt and striped tie? No, he's going into that shop. Look. Oh, yes. The man in the sweater. That's right. His name's William. He looks nice. Do you see the woman who's reading the magazine? Yes. What's her name? That's Helen. She's my mom's best friend. Her hair's the same as your mom's, long and straight. I know. Now listen to part one again. Can you see the woman who's holding the envelopes? That's my Aunt Sarah. Does she work there? Yes, she does. Her office is on the fifth floor. Ah, so she's going to take the elevator to her office. That's right. There are too many stairs. Do you know that man in the uniform? The man who's cooking something? No, not him. The other one. Oh, okay. You mean the firefighter. Yes. He's waving to someone. His name's Oliver. He's a friend of my dad's. Look at that woman's scarf. It's very bright. That's Emma, my friend's mom. She always wears clothes like that. Does she? I think she's just bought a newspaper. Perhaps. 
She goes to the shopping center every day to buy something or have a coffee. Okay. So she doesn't work there? No, she doesn't. Another one of my dad's friends is there, too. Is he the man who's wearing the shirt and striped tie? No, he's going into that shop. Look. Oh, yes. The man in the sweater. That's right. His name's William. He looks nice. Do you see the woman who's reading the magazine? Yes. What's her name? That's Helen. She's my mom's best friend. Her hair's the same as your mom's, long and straight. I know. That is the end of part one. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. OK, children. I want to tell you about our school camping trip next Monday. I love camping. Can I ask a question, please? Yes, of course, Katie. Where are we going to stay? Well, this year we're going to stay in the desert for two nights. Oh, wow. That's so cool. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. Where will we camp? We won't be far from the famous Silver Pyramid. Sorry, I mean the Gold Pyramid. You can actually see it from our camping place. Oh, I've heard about that. My dad said it's amazing. It is. I've seen it several times. What do we need to take with us for the camping trip? Well, just the usual things, really. Nothing special. The school will bring a hat for everyone, because it'll be very hot there. And you mustn't forget to put your sunglasses in your bag. OK. What will we do on the first day? We'll learn about the life of the people who live there. Their food, their work, their homes. We'll also see some wild horses that live there. We can't ride those, but you can all go for a ride on camels. Cool. I've never done that before. So, what are we going to eat? Well, you're going to eat something very nice on the first night. We'll cook it on the fire. Meatballs and rice. That sounds fantastic. My mum often makes that. Who's going to come with us on the trip? Well, I'll be there. And Miss Birch, the new science teacher, will come too. Um, I don't know her. How do you spell her name? It's B-I-R-C-H. You'll like her. She's very kind. OK. I can't wait. Now listen to part two again. Where will we camp? We won't be far from the famous Silver Pyramid. Sorry, I mean the Gold Pyramid. You can actually see it from our camping place. Oh, I've heard about that. My dad said it's amazing. It is. I've seen it several times. What do we need to take with us for the camping trip? Well, just the usual things, really. Nothing special. The school will bring a hat for everyone, because it'll be very hot there. And you mustn't forget to put your sunglasses in your bag. OK. What will we do on the first day? We'll learn about the life of the people who live there. Their food, their work, their homes. We'll also see some wild horses that live there. We can't ride those, but you can all go for a ride on camels. Cool. I've never done that before. So, 
What are we going to eat? Well, you're going to eat something very nice on the first night. We'll cook it on the fire. Meatballs and rice. That sounds fantastic. My mum often makes that. Who's going to come with us on the trip? Well, I'll be there. And Miss Birch, the new science teacher, will come too. Um, I don't know her. How do you spell her name? It's B I R C H. You'll like her. She's very kind. Okay, I can't wait. That is the end of part two. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. Where did Aunt Betty buy each of these things in her cupboard? I like your belt, Aunt Betty. Where did you get it? I bought that on holiday. We visited a market, and they had lots of nice things there. Was it expensive? No. It was actually very cheap. Can you see the letter B? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. What about this necklace? Did you buy that on holiday too? Yes, I did. I got it on the day that we left home. Oh, so did you get it when you were waiting at the airport? That's right. This crown's really cool. You worked as an actor, didn't you? Did you buy it at a shop in the theater? Well, I wore it when I was acting. I played a queen. Wow, I'm sure you were great. Thanks. I loved doing it. I found it in a small shop at the museum in town one day when I was there with my friend. She bought one too. Is she also an actor? Yes, she is. I've worn these gloves a lot. They're nice, but they look a bit old now. Well, I've had them for ten years. I always wore them when I was traveling to work. Do you remember where you bought them? Let me think. Oh yes, in the shop at the castle. Oh, I know. They have some really cool things there. This ring's great. Was it a present? No, I bought it when I was on holiday with your uncle. There was one just like it in the shop at our hotel. So did you decide to buy it then? No, we left the shop and walked to the beach. And guess what? What? I found the same one there, but it was much cheaper. So you got that one. That's right. Mom has an umbrella that looks like this. Did you go shopping together? I don't think so. No, I bought this when I was shopping at the market one day. Okay. No, wait a minute. I remember now. I got it at the shop at the train station on my way to the city because it started to rain. I like the colors. It's pretty. I love it too. It's my favorite one. Now listen to part three again. What about this necklace? Did you buy that on holiday too? Yes, I did. I got it on the day that we left home. Oh, so did you get it when you were waiting at the airport? That's right. This crown's really cool. You worked as an actor, didn't you? Did you buy it at a shop in the theater? Well, I wore it when I was acting. I played a queen. Wow, I'm sure you were great. Thanks. I loved doing it. I found it in a small shop at the museum in town one day when I was there with my friend. She bought one too. Is she also an actor? Yes, she is. I've worn these gloves a lot. They're nice, 
but they look a bit old now. Well, I've had them for ten years. I always wore them when I was traveling to work. Do you remember where you bought them? Let me think. Oh yes, in the shop at the castle. Oh, I know. They have some really cool things there. This ring's great. Was it a present? No, I bought it when I was on holiday with your uncle. There was one just like it in the shop at our hotel. So did you decide to buy it then? No, we left the shop and walked to the beach. And guess what? What? I found the same one there, but it was much cheaper. So you got that one. That's right. Mom has an umbrella that looks like this. Did you go shopping together? I don't think so. No, I bought this when I was shopping at the market one day. Okay. No, wait a minute. I remember now. I got it at the shop at the train station on my way to the city because it started to rain. I like the colors. It's pretty. I love it too. It's my favorite one. That is the end of part three. Part four. Listen and look. There is one example. How did Michael get to the hotel? Did you have a nice holiday, Michael? Yeah, it was fantastic. Our hotel was in the center of town. Did you go there by car? Actually, we took a boat. It was fun. Oh, I see. And then, did you use the bus when you were there? Yes, we did. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. What did Michael have in his hotel room? What was your room like? It was really big. It had a balcony, and there was a great TV on the wall. That sounds nice. There was a tablet there too for us to use. What a good idea! And you can use that as a clock when you want to know the time. That's right. Two. Who stayed in Michael's room? Who stayed in your room with you? I wanted my brother to stay with me, but he wanted his own room. Well, he's older than you, so that's okay. Yeah, I know. Dad was in my room, and my baby sister stayed with my mum. I hope she didn't cry too much. She did. She cries a lot. Three. What was the weather like on Friday? Last Friday, I saw something amazing. Oh, what was that? Well, it was windy in the morning, but then it rained a lot. And there was the most beautiful rainbow I've ever seen in the sky. Wow, you're lucky. We just had a lot of fog here. I know. My friend told me that too. Four. Which food did Michael eat every day for breakfast? Was the food nice? Yes. It was wonderful. Everyone's favorite meal was breakfast. Why was that? They had some really nice yogurt. Dad ate that, and Mum had bread and eggs for breakfast. Did you have the same? I had the honey. It was really delicious, so I had that with bread every morning. Five. What did Michael lose? You didn't send me a postcard, Michael. 
I got you one, and I wanted to send it to you. So what happened? Well, when I was walking to the post office with my brother, he dropped his phone and keys. Oh no! Yes, and while I was picking them up for him, it fell out of my pocket into the river. Sorry. Now listen to part four again. One. What did Michael have in his hotel room? What was your room like? It was really big. It had a balcony, and there was a great TV on the wall. That sounds nice. There was a tablet there too for us to use. What a good idea! And you can use that as a clock when you want to know the time. That's right. Two. Who stayed in Michael's room? Who stayed in your room with you? I wanted my brother to stay with me, but he wanted his own room. Well, he's older than you, so that's okay. Yeah, I know. Dad was in my room, and my baby sister stayed with my mum. I hope she didn't cry too much. She did. She cries a lot. Three. What was the weather like on Friday? Last Friday, I saw something amazing. Oh, what was that? Well, it was windy in the morning, but then it rained a lot, and there was the most beautiful rainbow I've ever seen in the sky. Wow. You're lucky. We just had a lot of fog here. I know. My friend told me that too. Four. Which food did Michael eat every day for breakfast? Was the food nice? Yes, it was wonderful. Everyone's favourite meal was breakfast. Why was that? They had some really nice yogurt. Dad ate that, and Mum had bread and eggs for breakfast. Did you have the same? I had the honey. It was really delicious, so I had that with bread every morning. Five. What did Michael lose? You didn't send me a postcard, Michael. I got you one, and I wanted to send it to you. So what happened? Well, when I was walking to the post office with my brother, he dropped his phone and keys. Oh no! Yes, and while I was picking them up for him, it fell out of my pocket into the river. Sorry. That is the end of part four. Part five. Listen and look at the picture. There is one example. I'd like to color this picture. Is that okay? Yes, that's fine, David. Can you see the puppies in the picture? Uh huh. There are two, and the little one that's running across the grass looks like a naughty one. I agree. Color that one green. Okay, I'm doing that now. Can you see the green puppy? This is an example. Now you listen and color and write. One. I'd like to color one of those birds now. I think. Of course. Color the largest one. How about blue for that? Okay. I've got that color right here. That's very pretty. Thanks. Two. 
Okay, shall I color something else now? Yes, please. I want you to color the backpack now. All right. Which color can I use for that? Well, how about purple? Can I do it orange? That's my favorite color. Yes, that's fine. Three. There's a big box below the apple tree. Can I write something on the front of it? Yes. Write the word wood on it, below the word fire, because that's what's in that box, actually. Sure, I can do that. And there's a box under the table, too. Has it got the same thing in it? No, that's got all the plastic picnic cups and plates in it. Four. The butterfly is beautiful. Can I color that red? The one flying near the boy who's all alone under the tree? Not that one. The one that the girl's taking a photo of. It's really nice. Yes, it is. Okay. I'm going to color it now. Great. Thanks. It looks lovely. Five. Do you see the bag on the table? I want you to color that now. The one next to the pizza? No, the one near the glass bottles. Oh, okay. I see it now. Actually, can I write something on it? All right. How about writing the word cookies on the front? Mmm, that's making me hungry now. It's a great picture now. Thanks. Now listen to part five again. One. I'd like to color one of those birds now, I think. Of course. Color the largest one. How about blue for that? Okay, I've got that color right here. That's very pretty. Thanks. Two. Okay, shall I color something else now? Yes, please. I want you to color the backpack now. All right. Which color can I use for that? Well, how about purple? Can I do it orange? That's my favorite color. Yes, that's fine. Three. There's a big box below the apple tree. Can I write something on the front of it? Yes. Write the word wood on it, below the word fire, because that's what's in that box, actually. Sure, I can do that. And there's a box under the table, too. Has it got the same thing in it? No, that's got all the plastic picnic cups and plates in it. Four. The butterfly is beautiful. Can I color that red? The one flying near the boy who's all alone under the tree? Not that one. The one that the girl's taking a photo of. It's really nice. Yes, it is. Okay. I'm going to color it now. Great. Thanks. It looks lovely.
Five. Do you see the bag on the table? I want you to color that now. The one next to the pizza? No, the one near the glass bottles. Oh, okay. I see it now. Actually, can I write something on it? All right. How about writing the word cookies on the front? Mmm, that's making me hungry now. It's a great picture now. Thanks. That is the end of the Flyers Listening Test.